as you feel this heat building, you are now ready to challenge yourself into the back bends. And these are safe ways to prepare yourself to move deeper into a back bend. So follow the different ways we move you from point A to point B. This is for your shoulders. This is for your chest and pecs. Lifting up to a Bakasana. This is for your back. Strengthen it. Just open your shoulders. Now, onto your stomach and stretch your shoulders as well as your back in a safe, effective way. Now you're ready to move deeper into your spine. You move into the illustrasanas, which you're challenging the spine to become more flexible and a flexible spine creates a flexible mind. And as you're breathing, you start to feel open and alive. As you move into your back bends, you study your strengths. You study the opposition, which is the weakness. And from that, you balance the two. So you feel yourself getting stronger as well as smarter as you move to different places of the rocket. So we start to bend over and stretch our spine. We're seeing that our elbows are moving closer to the ground. Our skin is stretching and the muscles are getting longer, which is creating more blood to circulate to the cellular level. The next move is a challenging elbow stand to promote more strength in the shoulders. As you rest, in the elbow stand, it becomes a resting position because gravity and you are neutral. Moving towards the ankle, knees, and hips area of your body, you slowly start to think about maybe jumping into a handstand floating towards your next vinyasa. Jumping through with control, you're seeing that your core is stronger. And now you start to stretch your ankles, knees, and hips, and starting to redefine the middle of your body with all these twists. The twists are designed to cleanse the organs, to stretch the organs, to give one a sense of moving the waist, the navel center, inward and upward, twisting like a pretzel, Strengthening your kidneys. You jump through and you try to control your body weight. As you move into the hips, 
knees and ankles series. You maintain your focus on what and where you feel these stretches occurring. And how much stronger you are as you keep moving through the series of poses. Still onto your hips, knees, back. You're more challenged by the pose, but letting go of the form, you pay attention to how your body is functioning three quarters into the rocket. As you lift up, pull your navel in, Strengthen yourself. This uplifting sequence of postures gives one a sense of a good feeling, a good experience, which opens the body and clears the mind. Moving into more extreme hip work, not being concerned with what you can't do, but paying attention to what you can do, your body's weakness or tightness is your protection. So you only can move and breathe where you're at. It's a safe way to stretch and strengthen. Because your tightness and weakness are your real strength. So get your head on the floor, lift your feet up if you can, but if you can't lift your feet up, one foot at a time is fine. So you go into the shoulders, you're going to go into the most challenging pose of the series, Nakrasana, where your hands and feet come off the ground like you're floating through the air at the greatest of ease. Back. Now finish in Paschimottanasana. Enter the cool down period. You're allowing your heart rate to go down. Your breath to return to its normal place. The body temperature mm -hmm. down. These are restorative poses. Designed for the next preparation of the session, which is pranayama and meditation. the headstand series. This is the final pose and this is the pose, the king of all the asanas, which sends blood to the crown of the head, clears the mind, dissolves the veil of confusion, and waters the seed of knowledge. Jump through, yoga mudra, 
prepares you for studying now, the quality of your mind, the effects of your practice, and the joy of your life.